It's the time of the year for the festival again. Let's go! Wait, the lake? It's not frozen again? <sighs> Looks like we can't have the ceremony again this year. was Mother Earth and Father Sky. Mother Earth created the mountains and the valleys, the boundless forest of trees that covered the land and the wind that blew between them. Father Sky created the vast seas, the never-ending blue sky, the clouds and the sun with his mighty staff of the spirits. Together, they crafted all the creatures of the land, the skies, and the oceans. When dusk fell, they created mankind, the liaison between all the creatures and the great spirits. The humans prayed to the mother and father each day, and the earth flourished. But in time, people had forgotten the creators, the ability to communicate to the spirits was all but lost in the echoes of the walls they built around themselves. And the language they shared with Earth's creatures perished. Until one day, the Earth began to change. Hello. Wait, she has what? Oh, all right. I'll, I'll be right there then. Grandmaster Mango Kai. Ah, you've awakened. What is it, my dear? Well, it's Mother Earth. I've been worried about her health. So many things have happened in the last while, I had to talk to you. Winter isn't the way it used to be. The mallards never stay, yet now they're here all the time. In the grocery store, prices have never been more expensive. Maybe it was too much rain and the fields flooded. Maybe it was not enough rain. Either way, the harvest has been worse and worse. And now, my friend has a tick bite with Lyme disease. We don't even live in an area where this is supposed to happen. So tell me, Grandmaster, what has happened with the world? Well, <clears throat> this sickness you speak of, it's called climate change. Everything is changing temperature, the precipitation, the movement of animals, everything. And what can I do to help? Well, as you know, the people have lost touch with the spirits and the creatures around them. You're among the few left that can still speak to me. You need to... What? I said... You need to speak to the people. Do what I cannot. You must restore their will to protect Mother Nature. And is there any way we can stop this climate change? Turn Mother Earth back to the healthy, flourishing spirit she once was? No. There is no turning back. Going forward, we can only lessen the harm we've already done. I see. Then I'll be off on my journey then. I trust I can leave the talking to animals to you, right? You'll tell them to go back to where they should be. Meow. What? I said I will try. With all this change sometimes, their home is not the same. All right, I'll be off now. 
Safe travels for the both of us. say? What do I tell them? There must be a way to talk to people so that they understand. That's it! People care about climate change when it affects themselves or others. I have to talk to people so that they can see protecting the environment will have something in it for them. Climate change is an issue we need to fight together. Telling people to walk more, drive less, save water, recycle, all of that is great. But just focusing on the individuals is not enough. One project I got to work on last year is in Toronto's urban forest. There was a need to convince developers through research that forest cover in a municipal ward was actually correlated with increasing home sale price. It's through research like this that we can create a city more resilient to floods and more resilient to the urban heat island effect. So let's say the goal is to not have development near a certain sensitive area. We can talk about ways that people enjoy living next to the forest. Maybe that development area is in a floodplain and developers will have more to lose than to gain. Then we can preserve the wilderness, protect species in an area, make more money and live in safer homes. A future with climate change doesn't have to be win-lose. I really believe it can be win-win. When we talk about ecological resilience and ecosystem services, we can plan for a future with nature and people together. I knew someday I would lose my powers too. <laughs> <laughs>